All right, heads please. Heads is the call, and it's a head. We'll have a bowl. So Vinradi have won the toss, elected to bowl. They're going to be chasing. Okay, all ready to go. Here's the first ball of match 38. It's Cope to Sengupta. This one comes back viciously. And Satya, he's happy just to keep it out. Catching's been pretty good. Oh, and he's chopped on. So a wicket in the first over. And a successful return to the ECS stage for Gillam. Then uh, some of the other bowlers and Cranty, no footwork, just dangled his bat out there. And uh, it's a big early wicket for the Avinos. And uh, Cranty, come back to him. Well, Haas is after this and he might catch it and he doesn't. Oh. Well, he did well <laughs> going back with the flight there. Normally such a safe pair of hands. Look, it wasn't an easy chance, you'd have to say, as he had to turn on his heels and go, trying to catch it over his shoulder. And that one going down. Get there. This time, no one's catching this. This is a blast over wide mid wicket. Maximo! In the air. And this is Clunt. Cope should catch this, and he will drop it. Hold these catches. That's what I was talking about. Oh, here, have another one. No, this one's going to be over, and it's going to be Maximo. Six runs, and Gupta. Half pull, half drive. And uh, well, Cope, he was hunting that one, couldn't get near it. As we see this one, which is launched out of the ground. Employing himself in the middle of the innings. And this one flies away off the outside edge. Won't be an easy stop. In fact, it won't be stopped at all. And it's even more expensive because that's been hammered for six. Big over here for Spartans. And uh, it's going to be 19 off the over. From Vinarati a little bit. Here's Goud to come back in the sixth. And then he gets blasted off a lead. This one's out of the ground as well. Maximo! About knocking up a fairly sizable total. Nothing quiet about this, though. This is in the air, and it's straight down the ground. Maximo! Say smash! Sengupta is cashing in here in match 38. And uh, once again, a bit of the one, two, he clears the front leg, brings it back and sends the ball out of the ground. One's on length as well, and this is into the gap. It's going to be four. Well, good placement from Satya that time. He wants this one, and it's going to be touch and go. In fact, it's going to clear fairly handsomely in the end. Maximo! Ready once again, enjoying the spin offerings of Margashayam. Nude hit me balls at the moment. This one's a bit slower. Oh, hello. Well, this could be a chance, though, this time. Gout. Well, he's not going to get there. That one just kept on going, didn't it? I thought for a chance it was going to fall inside the field of play, but he still had enough to get it over the outfield. Zengupta with another one. He tries, and this one is also going to disappear. Abracadabra, and suddenly Reddy has done anything but steady. He's launched this innings into orbit, and that shot takes him into the 40s. It is, and he hits it straight pretty hard. Should be stopped, oh, and it's going to sneak across the rope. Heidenreich, normally a good fielder, and he tried to get everything behind it. It bounces off his knee, goes for another boundary. And if he continues in that block hole length. Oh, he's got him! Well, played right across the line, did ready, going for his big six, and a big breakthrough. Maybe a little bit late now, but Honza Kornes, he's well out of the Narup status. And he's taken his first wicket. He did what his teammates could not, didn't he? Conness. Short to the new banner. Doesn't really time it, but there's nobody back there. That was man that was brought up earlier in the over. Comes Conness again. And he's got another wicket. Well, the destroyer, Honza Conness. The uh, panelette there gets an inside edge onto, the, uh, onto his pads, goes onto the stumps. And it's two wickets in the over for Cornes. I think uh, they've got a shot here, Virani, but... Some good batting. They do. Cornes. Well, he might oh. have another one here, oh, and it's going to be gone. How about that? <laughs> we tried to get funky. Did Balakrishnan. Didn't wait around. He tries to deflect this one down to fine leg. And suddenly, we've got Cornes on a hat-trick. He's taken three wickets in four balls. Here's the last over, though. So buckle up. This is... Probably too high for an LB. Probably should be out. And how, hold on, what's happened here? <laughs> has has Bartje missed the stumps? Loses his grip at the worst moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And this is in the air, and it's going to be touch and go. Fred is going to. Oh, I think it's probably six. I think he's come down on the rope there. We'll have a look at it. It'll be six or one, or maybe run out. I think he's hit the rope before 
he's ejected the ball. And that was just seeing it at real time here, yep. there. In fact, the first foot was already on the rope, mm -hmm. so it will be six. And, uh, well, nothing going right for Vinarati. Great camera work once again. It goes leg side, and this will bring up the 50. It'll be four runs. And so well batted, Sachi Sengupta. He had a couple of close calls early, but he has made the most of them. And he gets his first half century of the series. 51 of 27 balls. He's just hit the two fours, but five big maximos. He was going walkabout there, and he's found himself with a 50 in the ECS. 10 centimetres. <laughs> Last ball, and it might be a wicket, and it should be. It's Cope. It's under another high ball. This time he'll take it. So Sengupta bats the 10 overs, but is out off the last ball. Prague Spartans make 119. Nicely held. And look, credit to Corness. He's going to finish with four wickets. And that went very close to a fifth one as well. Four for 19. So pretty good figures for him with his first bowl in ECS cricket. Uh, Vinarati, they're not out of this match by any means. They do have some good batting, but geez, they're going to have to bat well. 120 will be the target. Vinarati, so good to top scoring with 53 of 29, his first half century of the series. I do like him at the top of the order. The Spartans, we wondered what would happen if he batted through the innings, and you see it right there. He was able to make a decent score. 45 for Reddy was the real story, though, at number three. Four for 19. Honza was the story. John Corness in that innings, including taking three wickets for seven off his first over. That did include a no ball that wasn't really his fault. So looking forward to seeing the second half of this one, as you are, I'm sure. As it looks like the, the ECI in Germany is, is scheduled to start. We'll keep an eye on the rain there. But right now, here in Prague, I can tell you the Spartans have put on 119 in the first innings, 120. The equation, well, it might, because the extra ball is going to disappear. And so, well, them's the breaks, and I think Vino's might have caught one there. They cash in. Gaud goes Maximo. Pitched up, and this one is sent over the offside. It's going to be four. Chuggy again. This is hit, and it's hit pretty well. Maximo! Thought he had some insurance in the outfield. In the outfield, I couldn't do anything about it. This one's pitched up, and this one is launched even further. Well, this might be the biggest six of the day. That has gone absolute miles. Maximo, a super Maximo from Sid, as he moves to 29 of just 10. News, and you can ignore it if you want as well. Now, this is hit really well, and this is going, going, and gone. Maximo, and have a look at that. Oh. Gone, and he has gone to the well once too often, hasn't he? And he just loses his shape there. Doesn't bounce that much, and ready. Gets the last laugh. Had a couple of dots on Gout, who was looking good, but he just gets a bit carried away, I think. And he's going to have to go for 35 of 14 balls. I think he needs, needs to try and, try and wriggle on himself. Now, this is hit away over the offside, and probably it'll be a tough stop. Runs down the hill. It's going to be four. Chasing the extra run. Last ball of the over. And this is launched out of the ground. Maximo! That is large. He goes after this, but he hasn't quite got it. It's skied in the air, and it's been dropped. And, well, what is it going on in this game? And panel it. <laughs> He's not a regular wicketkeeper. And he does, and he hits this one real good. Well, that helps. Maximo! He needs something magical. And that's a bit like the magician tapping his magic wand on the top hat. I think he went for 42 off his two overs, and that's the difference at the moment. Heidenreich didn't quite get all of that at... Ooh. Should come back for two. And he's going to be run out is Venki. He's bowling to Heidenreich. Walks at him. Misses. Yeah, the wind predictor getting it spot on. 100% for the Spartans. And uh, I did predict them to be top of this group. They are probably the most, or well, definitely the most well-balanced team. It's pretty well pulled straight. It wasn't far away from the field, but Gillum. Again, showing a sign of what might have been, really. He's not going to face too many. Last ball, then, of match 38. And he launches this one up and out of the ground. And, well, just like that, you see what might have been. Something I think they might want to think about. You don't want to die wondering in this format, as Gillum will only face the three deliveries. But he's going to finish on 12 not out with a six and a four. Vinarati are going to finish 94 for three. The final margin, in fact, is just 25 runs. But it is Prague Spartans that come up with a win in match 38. And that sews up top spot for them. Arabians will remember they beat Barbarians in their first match of the series. So I think it could be an interesting rematch.
as we look at the score card here as they were chasing 120 for victory. Pretty disciplined from the bowlers, only conceding five wides in the innings. Uh, was good in patches, 28 run out of 23. But Gillum, 12 run out of three with a four and a six. Uh, just showed you he's a powerful striker of a cricket ball like we know. So we're going to take a quick break. We're going to have our lunch. Thanks to everyone from the Down Under. I might keep an eye on the stream from Germany as well. I can see that Germany early on just lost a second wicket. So Austria up and about in that one. Hopefully you can join us though when we return in 20 minutes for the resumption of play here in the Czech Republic. Vinny Sandu here, Mr. Maximo, alongside Danny Hudicek. We'll see you shortly for more action and excitement on the European Cricket Network. This is the Fan Code European Cricket Series, Czech Republic.